Hello friends. Today I am going to demonstrate penetration testing. Penetration testing, also called pen testing or ethical hacking, is the practice of testing a computer system, network or web application to find security vulnerabilities that an attacker could exploit. We have to set up environment for that. So I have set up environment using VM workstation to run multiple operating systems as virtual machine on a single PC. Here I'm using two operating systems. One is Kali Linux. Kali Linux will be our local machine where we could we can run our attack from. And I'm using Windows XP as a target machine. I have turned off firewall and third party antivirus software of Windows machine. Both machines are in NAT mode. For NAT mode, we can change the setting, right click on the machine, go to the settings. And in the settings, we can change the mode to the NAT mode. Here you can see in the network adapter, click here and here you can change the mode to NAT mode. Next is, we have to find out IP address of both Kali machine and the target machine. So in Kali machine, we can use ifconfig command to find out IP address and in target machine, that is Windows, where we can use ipconfig to find out the IP address. Next is we have to scan target machine we have to check the open ports on target machine. So I'm using nmap tool for scanning purpose. So command we will give nmap. This hyphen T4 is option to speed up the process and IP address of target machine. So here you can see I have used IP config command to check the IP address of target machine. So this IP address we are going to give. And this will give us the list of all open ports on target machine. Here you can see on target machine, these ports are open. Now, next is we have to find out the vulnerabilities available on target machine. The command will be nmap hyphen capital T4. Then we will run the script VULN on target machine. Here you can see we have got list of vulnerabilities. See, this is vulnerability. You can say this state high, factor risk factor is high, vulnerability. Another vulnerabilities which you can see here, the entire complete list of vulnerabilities which are available here, you can check. You see here, this is one more vulnerability which is available. Okay. So we can exploit any one of these vulnerabilities for target machine, okay? So now for target machine to exploit the vulnerabilities, we are going to make use of Metasploit framework. For starting Metasploit framework, we will give command NF MSF console. The Metasploit framework is an open source penetration testing and development framework that provides exploit for a variety of applications, operating system and platforms. Metasploit is one of the most commonly used penetration testing tool and comes built in to the Kali Linux. There are six modules in Metasploit framework, exploits, payloads, auxiliary, knobs, post and encoders. We will just focus on exploits and payloads. Now, what are exploits and payloads? An exploit take advantage an exploit take advantage of a system's vulnerability and install a payload. The payload gives access to the system by a variety of methods like reversal, metapreter. Here you can see our this MSF console is started. So we will use exploit and payload to gain access to the victim machine. So here in this MSF console, we can give help command to check the available options. You can see we got so many options here. We can make use of any of these. Next 
is what we can do here we can give command show payloads to check the list of available payloads it will give us list of available payloads here you can see we got a list of available payloads we can make use of command show exploits to check the list of exploits available here and we know that we are going to exploit the vulnerability which was present in the list when we scanned that machine for the vulnerability so what we can do we, we are we are going to search specific exploit for that vulnerability so we can give command search and the vulnerability name so that was ms08 hyphen 067 so this vulnerability was available in this and we will search exploit for this vulnerability here you can see we got this exploit for this so just select it right click copy and use this exploit so give command use and paste this exploit here now here we give command show options here we have to set the value of this r host for our target machine so r host is going to be the ip address of target machine and r port is going to be the target port on target machine so we'll give command set our host and ip address of our target windows xp machine now our host is set similarly we can set our port to 445 and exploit and our attack is successful we gained access to target machine if this metal predator session is started successfully it means we gained access to target machine now we can perform a variety of things on that machine we can check the list of running processes on that machine so all these processes are running on that machine now what we can do we can start here a shell and now here you can check the list of directories you can create directories remove directories now we'll go into c drive and there we will create a directory here mktir hack so i have created one directory hack so now inside this hack directory i can create a file and we can type any message and we can create a file dot txt okay so you give dir command you can see this file is created and we can check the content of this file you can see this other thing is what we can do we can start key logging on the target machine so we check the list of running processes there okay we, sorry we are inside that script we have to come out of this first exit and here we'll give the command ps to check the list of running processes here you can see all these processes are running so suppose we want to start key logging for this explorer so 
this is the process id of this explorer internet explorer so first we have to migrate the process id of this process for which we want to start key logging key scanning okay so we are migrating this process and now we can start key scanning key scan underscore dot Here you can say key stroke sniffer is started now go to the target machine open explorer and here type anything suppose i type any website name google.com press enter come back to kali machine and you here dump the key scan which we have recorded so you can see that in the target machine i typed google.com and it has been recorded so now everything which is typed in the explorer will be recorded by this keystroke sniffer so this is this is in this way you can perform many other things also thank you so much for watching